I'm Claudius, uh, seventh place winner of TradeNet Trading Challenge. Firstly, I would like to thank uh, all TradeNet team for organizing such a contest. And uh, let's start. Before the competition started, what was your trading strategy and money management strategy that got you through this competition? Uh, my plan was to risk $1,000 per uh, each uh, trade. And uh, if I get really unlucky and um, I have three losing trades in a row, I'm down only like $3,000 and I still don't hit uh, the max uh, daily loss of $3,500 uh, as a rule for the trading challenge. So I still have a second and third day to make uh, that loss and uh, to be in the game. Did the strategy that you used for the competition differ in any way from the strategy that you thought you were going to use prior to the competition started? Yes, my strategy, money management strategy, changed uh, on a second trade, uh, trading day because first day I lost uh, $3,000 uh, despite I was winning um, in the morning $1,000 dollars uh, positive but um, after that I thought you know if, uh, there are like 2,000 um, traders in the challenge they are probably hitting like 3,000, 5,000, 7,000 uh, dollars profit so I have to step it up and make more and by doing that I did a couple of stupid things that I don't usually do and I lost uh, 3,000 and next day I thought you know I'm gonna risk uh, more uh, I'll, I took the bigger share size uh, position um, I believe of 5,000 shares and uh, I managed to make like $5,000 uh, back and on the second day I made like 9,000 and uh, that's how I came back in the game again what was the most memorable trade that you had during the competition uh, to be honest, I don't remember most of my trades, but I remember one. Uh, I traded uh, beyond BY and D stock uh, last day of the trading uh, challenge. I had not a big position like six or seven hundred shares, but I remember my PL moving um, 200, 300 dollars back and forth, so it was uh, very emotional. But I'm, I'm glad that I made um, like 2500 uh, on that uh, trade but I don't think I'm gonna trade that stock anymore what was the one thing that you really liked about the competition and then give me one thing that you would change for future competitions uh, I really liked everything about the uh, competition and uh, it's hard to say what I would change because you know when you finish in top 10 and you win the prize uh, so looks like everything uh, was well but if I had to change something I believe in to make uh, trading challenges um, more professional uh, trading in a more professional way I believe I would uh, put a restriction on how many shares the maximum share position traders can have for example like uh, for uh, one position, you cannot trade, uh, not take uh, more than uh, let's say 3,000 shares. Uh, by doing that, um, you can avoid like uh, traders who came just to gamble. You know, who first day of trading challenge they come in and trade seven, ten thousand shares of one stock, and if you know they get lucky, they get lucky. And but if uh, they're not lucky, they are out of the contest on the first day. And trading only three or four thousand max share position uh, would keep keep them in the game longer, and uh, it's better for uh, other uh, traders who look in this challenge uh, in a serious way. What was your average share size during the competition, and how many trades per day did you average to win the competition? Uh, I believe my average trading size was uh, between two and three thousand shares per position I had uh, trades that they took only six or seven uh, hundred share position like uh, with uh, beyond and I had as much as five or six thousand uh, share positions with other stocks and to average trades uh, I would say it's about three two three or four 
I had days where I took only one trade and I had days where I traded five, six uh, trades. But uh, the thing is I had um, many tickets. I traded like 148 tickets and uh, pro probably more than uh, other traders did. But that's because I'm used to scaling in the trade. Like if I plan to take 1000 share position, I used to go by 100 share lots. So uh, I, I used to take 10 times uh, 100 shares. And when I go out of the position, uh, taking profits, I, I don't take all position out. Uh, I used to, you know, if I have 1000 shares, I would take 500, then maybe 250, and then other 250. How did you like the TEFS trading platform for speed and performance during the competition? Uh, about trading uh, platform that uh, was used during uh, trading challenge, I can say only good, uh, good, uh, good things. I opened it uh, only like 45 minutes before uh, trading day and for me it was easy to figure out, uh, to configure everything, um, to fulfill my needs and the executions were super fast so I'm really, I'm really uh, like that uh, platform and I would recommend it for uh, day trading. How would you describe your feelings and your emotions throughout the competition each and every day? Uh, after first day when I was up 1000 and uh, I managed to close the day down $3000 I was really disappointed because uh, my goal was on the first day to finish positive and then see however uh, traders are doing and then uh, go from there so I was really disappointed but after second day I start I, I got more good emotions, I start believing in myself, uh, I saw that I can uh, be disciplined when I need and uh, after the second day everything was going well, um, I had uh, nine, uh, 9 winning days in a row and uh, you know at the end I finished uh, in the 7th position so only good emotions. Did your experience match your expectations in the world's largest trading competition? For sure. Um, I expected from this challenge uh, to be very professional, uh, well organized and it really was. Um, I liked uh, the way uh, they uh, uploaded the 20, top 20 trader list uh, just uh, after one hour of trading day closes. Uh, from time to time I used to watch uh, Mir and Scott trading on YouTube channel and I saw how they do how they do it in a serious way and uh, that's what I expected from this challenge and um, uh, my first goal was uh, just to feel what is to trade 200,000 uh, trading account uh, how it feels managing and trading 5,000 shares, 7,000, maybe even 10,000 share positions. Uh, and I felt that uh, I'm really happy with my experience. If we were to ask you prior to the competition what place you would finish in, what would you have said? To be honest, I didn't expect uh, finishing in top 10, but after uh, second day, uh, when I saw my name on uh, top 20 or top 50 list, uh, I started believing that I can make it and uh, I'm happy I succeeded. Uh, once more, I would like to thank uh, TradeNet and I hope next challenge is uh, coming up soon. Thank you.